Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. So we're back on Ship Evolution Never Surrender scenario and we need to make some adjustments to the ship, as always. Alright, so we're back with Ship Evolution and it's evolving pretty nicely. So last episode, we added the wings here with the Ion Thruster that we couldn't fulfill or make because we don't have 960 times 2 worth of thruster components and the reason for that is because we have only one refinery or yeah one refinery and a basic refinery that is refining the golden platinum and it's it's not enough per se to kind of refine quick enough so we've been kind of struggling with that for a bit and we're also struggling with power issues because we don't have much power left to be honest and the reason because we don't have much things to charge up the power except for a hydrogen engine and solar panels but the hydrogen engine is on you can hear it right <laughs> so we know we are producing that but I don't think we have too much ice left we have yeah we're running out a lot of stuff right so that's the issue so ice we still have some left which is good so that's going to generate some power the solar panel is going to help generate more power as well i'm going to stop the hydrogen engine for now solar panel is not enough to really charge up everything we have especially running and refining stuff so that's the biggest problem um so we're still slowly making out the rest of components which is fine we're gonna let it kind of run but I think I'm going to change up the ship just a little bit more and kind of go with my original plan where I said I'm going to do maybe two refineries instead of one on the on the wings. So if I really wanted to, I could put three, leave that one here in the middle, put the two on the sides. That might be an idea. I don't know. Um, I mean, we could definitely do it. But leaving refineries on the side is it's a bit of a tricky thing. I mean putting thrusters on the side is already tricky too, but <laughs> it's 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 better than nothing. Um I don't know. So one thing's first, I should probably swap out these kind of iron thrusters if I wanted to. Uh eh, we'll leave it for now. So I don't know. Uh we we need more power for one thing. We need to find silver. That's the more important thing. Because once we have silver, we could make uh, our reactors and everything like that. So that's only thing that we're missing to make the reactor so if we look at uh, production of reactor components what do we need for that we need silver so that's the problem that I'm having lack of silver we should probably roam around to find some silver the only problem about roaming around too much is that we don't have a lot of power <laughs> so yeah and the more refineries I put the more less power we're gonna have as well so that's the the biggest issue right now so in, let's see what if we did let's lighten the load um because i think even yeah it's gonna be heavy with just this hat on here let's lighten the load a little bit and let's change this up uh until we can get enough thrust components to really really do the wing section of it although even though even though we put in the wing section now it's probably gonna go away eventually because the ship needs to get a little bit bigger anyways um, let's see here really quickly. How much thruster component do I have? 110 so I can make about one or two small thrusters still so that's not terrible, but let's just change it up So we're gonna get rid of the solar panel the large ion thruster and All right, that's holding up. We're gonna put let's put a a beam block here just to hold it up for now and looks like we lost a little bit of large steel tubes okay so we gotta do the same thing for the other side oh no all right that's done so again we just gotta make that beam on the side right there and it again it's just a regular beam Nothing too crazy about it right there. And that still gives it a little bit of a design. As you see here, so that's kind of winged out a bit. But the main idea is to actually just put um, some solar panels there. 
so we can collect a little bit more power. So that was the idea here. So which way we can put it? We could put it pretty far out like that, but no, let's get, put it right down here, like so. And we can stretch it out even more by putting one here. So now we have a total of, well, two more than what we originally had, which is, again, not a significant amount. But it's going to help. We just need as much as we can in terms of power because we need to roam around. So that's the first thing we're going to freaking solve um, for the most part. All right, four um, solar panels all set. We should really move towards the sun a bit. So this was cobalt. I think we still got a good amount of cobalt, right? Yeah, 285 bit of cobalt, a, a little bit of, of cobalt, right? Right. <laughs> so we have a decent amount of cobalt, so that's good for the metal grids. And and also what I mentioned last episode is, why didn't I go I, um, hydrogen? So I could go hydrogen. Definitely a good idea to even go hydrogen if we, if we had to go that route. Um, how much hydrogen do we have? Absolutely, like, little to none. <laughs> We have very little ice. Actually, no, we have a ton of ice. Alright, we can go hydrogen. Why am I upside down? <laughs> Alright, so let's see. So if we go hydrogen, it will help with the power situation. So we're not using too much of our thrusters. Alright, so let's see. We have a couple batteries that are charging. Well, not charging, but um, we have a couple of batteries that are not doing too, too well. So, why is everything... Why am I orientated so awkwardly? Okay, here we go. So, that's actually pretty funny. I accidentally put the solar panels on the bottom instead of on the top. Um, but it's still collecting a little bit of solar power. Okay, so that was a bit of a mistake, but we can leave it for now. Uh, yeah, got a little disoriented. When I moved around too much, uh, uh, it's okay. All right, so we need to do. Let's get back to this. If we do hydrogen, we can do hydrogen by pushing forward and backwards. I think that's more important than side, left, and right. So what we can do is here's an idea. We can remove this here. Actually, no, we could just remove this. And we can put a thruster here. So a hydrogen thruster, which one do we want to use? Let's use the newer ones, the industrial ones, a little bit longer than the original one right here. So that's uh, one block by one block. And actually no, the one block by one block is the same. It's the large one that's a little longer, I think. Yeah. So this is the industrial one. This is the one with all pipes, a little bit of a ball over there, which looks pretty cool. So. I'm going to use that. The ball can hang. I guess the ball can hang a little low. <laughs> For fun. And we'll stick it right here. But if we need more, we can stick it one here. And we can stick one here. But I think one is going to be decent enough to give us a little bit of extra push with the um, ion thrusters. So we'll just put this together. And already we don't have... Well, could, probably couldn't carry... Too much metal grids, right? Or did we not produce anymore? We didn't have any more. So we're gonna have to produce a punch a punch. A bunch of metal grids. And we can add some hydrogen thrusting. So we should add one to push backwards. But the problem is where am I gonna do that? And it seemingly looks like I might have to do it at the bottom here. Or somewhere. Is there opportunities to put on the side? Not really. Yeah, not really. Um, as much as I want to keep it kind of skinny for the time being. It's not looking like it's a good idea to do so on the side. And we just need one. Where can we put it? We could put it on the bottom. But I kind of don't want to do it that way. So that's, that's the thing. 
Mm, I don't know. We're, we're going to figure that out quite soon because we're going to have to plug that in there. And the reason why we need that is because we need stopping power. So stopping power is very important, especially when we're flying like this. So why don't I do this? Why don't I get rid of... Yeah, I'm going to move this. over to let's just put it on the side like so it's gonna block this one a little bit but not too too much which would be okay we're gonna move this one as well we can actually add a whole bunch of solar panels this way <laughs> anyways the idea was a bad idea i was actually thinking of putting a thruster kind of like Kind of like this way, but the solar panel is definitely in the way. It's going to be opposite, turn it around that way. But that didn't work out based on the way I built it, so oh wells. So let's stick one. I mean, I would love to stick one in front right here, but I don't think I have anything to do it. I could stick it here. At this point, I don't even care if it's even or not. I can just, if I can just stick one in a decent spot. That's, that's, that'll be nice, but it looks like I can't really find a good spot right this moment. So maybe I'm going to have to put it lower than the rest. Uh, not what I want, but I <laughs> can't do much about it right now. So we could just stick one up top. Um, it's going to look a little ridiculous, but I don't really see a big choice here so it's gonna look a little that just looks so bad <laughs> what if we just did this now oh, the ion thrust is right in front of it though i was thinking put it here but that ion thruster is gonna burn this thing down so that's not smart the other thing i could do is instead of using control c i get rid of that control c and turn this window part right here into the thrusting spot i mean might not be the worst idea in the world and put the cockpit right in there. Let's do that. I don't use the pressurizing anyway, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna make it look really, really awkward. All right, there we go. So we got a thruster outside right there, right next to the seat, which we can remove. But let's not remove it just yet. So let's just gonna remove the window panels first. And let's just kind of redesign this a little bit more. So we don't need this. We barely use that. So what's the point? What we can do is I think throw in a cockpit. I really want to throw in a cockpit instead. So a cockpit. Which one can we use for a large grid? So this one has a port on the bottom, which is not ideal. This one has a port on top. All right. That one will probably work better since we could just throw it right here in the middle. Or right here uh, either in the middle or right there I think right in front actually so we get rid of this we get rid of this I hope nothing's holding it up oh it's a light okay and that's when we can do the cockpit here so we can do the industrial cockpit just throw that here all right and of course we need parts for it there we go so we should make a little bit more of the bulletproof glass. If we have any more. It's just better to have that than not. There we go. Alright, so we can pipe this up here. So do we use regular pipes? Do we use or the conveyor junctions? Nah, we can use regular pipes. So we're gonna do this regular pipe here, connect it to conveyor junction right there. We'll stick it right here. And we could do just because it's on the outside here. I really don't want to just use this. It's just going to look a little awkward on the side. So let's just use the conveyor junction here. Now it's going to look a little bit, oh, a little bit boxy. So that was a bad idea just before. Let me weld this thing up first before I put the command junction. Here we go. 
that's that. Junction here. Looks like we're out of small steel tubes. We are. So let's queue up a bit of these guys. And we gotta fix this. Yeah, let's fix this. And I guess we could do the slope this way for now. Right. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> Looks a little bit awkward for the time being, but you know, it's gonna have to do for now. Um, maybe I could have just left that one alone. Yeah, I could have left this one alone. So, what was this? This was this. And if we needed more stopping power, I could probably add another thruster, to be honest. Which might be a good idea, maybe. Here we go. Now we don't have to worry about pressurizing, depressurizing, or you guys watching me open and close stupid doors <laughs> for the most part. So there's that. Um, we still have an opening back here to get into the cockpit, which is good. And we can still get to a survival kit, which is also good. We still have doors if we really need to. Um, here, we just need to shut this. What's the best way to design the, sh the shutting of this? I don't know. It, it just looks terrible right now. I mean, we could use this to close this side. Doesn't look that bad. But this part needs something else. There might be a block. I'm pretty sure there's a block that we can use. And it might be one of these guys here. Yes. So, most wanted. Definitely a nice upgrade because I could do this transition block here, which is awesome. Look at that. So now that looks a little bit more flush than what we had before. Which is good. So we can fix this a little bit. All right, and forgot to mention, I did a little bit of updating off camera, and that's adding this ore detector and also this camera. <laughs> so if you noticed that and didn't see that in the previous episode, that is because I just did it a little bit before or after the recording of the last um, episode. It just had, um, I had to just do it so I could get more cobalt. So I just added those quick little things there. But yeah, now this is looking a little bit decent. It's not the best thing in the world but at least we have hydrogen thrusting and we have a cockpit that has oxygen yes it does so i can open my helmet if i need to perfect and we are good to go i think we just gotta reset everything that i had here so things like the block tools even though i should probably just group them all which i probably have grouped them all um, so we just on and off. That's fine. We need our hydrogen thrusting to toggle on and off. We need our camera for viewing purposes. We need our pistons to be... Or piston. <laughs> you guys, just one piston. To, to, to go reverse, which is fine. And of course, our thrusters to toggle on and off. I don't know why there's two groups of thrustings here, which I probably did that by mistake. I don't know which is which. Um, does it... <laughs> does it cover everything? This one covers everything. So that one covers everything. Thrusters. Did I spell the other one incorrectly? Or there's just one? There's just one. Right? No, there's two. They are spelled with one without the R. So we delete this one. I think this is the one that covers everything. Yeah, this one covers everything. All right, so we have that. Um, problem here is we need to turn the ion ones on. And then we do the grouping. Where is the thrusters? Thrusters on and off. Okay, I think we're good, right? We have everything we need. Yeah, we have everything we need in terms of power. We have one hour power left I see here. Maybe we'll turn on the hydrogen engine on just to get a little bit more. It's going to burn the fuel a little faster, but it is what it is. Um, so let's continue our space or asteroid hopping because we need that silver. So where to next? Um, 
Should I fix the solar panels is another question. Or just leave it. <laughs> I, I was upside down from my ship when I installed those. That was kind of ridiculous. It, it's still collecting, so it's not terrible. Should we and could we add more? Hmm. Maybe. But we have hydrogen thrusting now, so we should be okay. Alright, there's a bunch of asteroids behind us that we haven't even looked at. So, we just gotta figure out where we wanna go. Nickel, iron. That's another one that we can check out. Um, yeah, let's just do... Let's find a close cluster. So these are four or five different clusters that are pretty far away. But I think we're gonna have to go that way. Um, yeah, let's just do that. So we could go from left to right, I believe. Unless it's way, way too far away. So that one looks really far away. But shouldn't be too bad. Um, and now we got a nice little cockpit with all the TVs and everything like that. So that's awesome. We could also customize them. Alright, so we got some things flying around above us. But yeah, I think we're just going to go straight to this one here. So let's aim here. Fly forward. I'm gonna put dampeners on so with the forward or the backward thrusting it doesn't bother us too much or drain out power. So that one hydrant thruster, not doing a lot, <laughs> but it's helping. It's not doing a lot, but it's helping. Our battery situation is bad because you see here by pushing it like this, we only got 10 minutes left. Whether that that's true or not, give or take, it probably is a little bit off. Um, because we have the hydrogen running, we have solar panels, and we're, we're spending a lot more than we're actually gaining. So, it's close. It's, it, it should be close and accurate, but... I still believe we have more than 10 minutes of power unless we keep this up here. So, at least we can hit the 100 millimeters per second. And then we let go. Yeah, so we got an hour, so that's fine. Alright, so that the one we're heading to is probably the further one, which is not always the best thing. So I think this one's closer right here, so we're gonna we should change our trajectory a bit. And that one over there is a huge rock. You know what? I'm just gonna go. Should I come backwards or not? No, let's not do that. Let's go to actually they're about the same distance. No, not really. Alright, so we're gonna go to this one. So we're gonna slow down a little bit somehow. And we're using mostly our side ion thrusters, which is not good. So just burn a little bit of the hydrogen to slow down. Five minutes left by doing this. This is getting a little dicey with the power. I mean, we definitely have power. It's just we're gaining some power, but it's not enough. So if it becomes a real big problem, you're going to have to slap on <laughs> like a big sail of um, solar panels just to just get some power back. But it's because we're trying to stop and it's burning a ton and ton of um, ion thrusting. So that's why it's doing that. So we're going to use the hydrogen thruster a little bit to stop us. We should slap on more. I think we should um, just to get extra push. But as you see here, five, four minutes of thrusting left. That's not good at all. So they're all about the same. Yeah, I could have just went there. Hmm. It's fine. Can I see through the camera if there's any ores here? So I like the new um, camera screen for Most Wanted. It's a lot better than that blurry, broken looking like thing. I'm not seeing any form of uh, materials there, but we can fly over a little bit to kind of see what's there. And I'm going to try to save a little bit of power, so I'm just going to speed up maybe 30 meters per second and travel that way yeah let's just do that here we go we'll just cruise cruise along there and get to it so that rock wasn't that far away at all so i should have went there first and then to this rock the next rock over and so forth but you know what maybe there's silver here when when i find silver then we're good. We're good. We're golden. So let's see what's here. Uh, let's go a little faster. It's a little too slow for me. 
All right, so we are here by the bottom of the asteroid. Let's hope our ore detector detects something soon. I don't want to really stick my face in a rock. Um, looks like I'm underneath. Let's see what's going on here. Silicone. Nope, not silver. <laughs> that that almost caught me by surprise. I almost thought it said silver. Well, it's silicon or silicon. Uh, although I always say silicone for whatever reason. So it's only silicon. No silver. Not good. Where is it anyways? So let's see. Yeah, anything I do, I'm burning a ton and ton of uh, power here. So where's the silly stuff? Where's the silly stuff? I just saw it before. What happened to it? Oh, we don't have a lot of upward thrust, uh, downward thrust power. Um, I don't even know where it went. It's here for sure. Did I go too far away from it? Likely. <laughs> it's at surface level, is it? Elsewhere. Or is it in this hole here? That's a nice little hole we can hide in too. <laughs> I like these natural hidey holes. And I remember back then when I first started playing Space Engineers, when they didn't even have planets, all we did was drill holes in an asteroid and try to build a base kind of situation. Okay, so it's a... Okay, so that's not even a deep kind of hole. I have no idea where that <laughs> silicon went. Um, silicon, or sil yeah, silicon. Uh, I'm too used to saying silicone. Alright, so... Yeah, I know it's here, but I just wasn't paying too much attention how far it was in there. But it's not like you were detecting any other materials, so that's not good. Oh, here we go. That's oh, right there, surface level, right here. And the reason why I want to do that is just so I can GPS it. Silly, silly stuff. Silly con. <laughs> I'll just call it silly stuff. Alright, so nothing else seems to be on the rocks here unless it's deep inside. I want to say. So I'm just going to float around a little bit in or on the surface level. See if anything detects. And it doesn't seem like anything's popping up. So that is the only material on this thing. I, I wouldn't think silver would be with the silly stuff. So yeah, I don't think so. Alright, let's head back. Let's find the next rock to go to. Okay. Next rock. A little disoriented in terms of which rock we can go to. That was the big rock. So where's the other rocks? Or asteroids. There's another one down there. Oh, that's a big spread of them right there. So we definitely can do that right there. Yeah, that's the nearest rock. That's fine. And again, we are running really low on power. We're going to have to cruise it a little bit. So yeah, this asteroid hopping for resources has been fun. <laughs> Except for the fact that I can't find the damn silver that we need. And that seems to be holding us back a little bit in terms of power. Once we have power, then we should be golden to do a lot of producing and everything like that. So... Uh, we could build more. Oh, there's no rock right there, too. We could have went to. But, yeah, we could have built more um, refineries. Not worry about too much about power because we just get the reactors. But we, pro we are prog progressing quite quickly. Um, because, you know, we're able to find all the materials. Which is good. Uh, and I also need to keep updating the ship a little bit more, too. So eventually we're gonna have large ion thrusters here. I think the size of the ship we don't probably we probably don't need it. But once we have a larger ship, 
we can slap on one or two large iron thrusters. Right now we can just go with one, to be honest, in the back, in the front, either or. So I think that's the next evolution. Um, we're going to start slapping things on the bottom of this and keep the top. So we might just add one backwards and one forward ion thruster. We need always do the opposite so we get more stopping power. So this is a really cool cluster of asteroids. So hopefully there's stuff here. Um, let's slow it down here. We can do a quick scan with the camera and not really see much. Just dark asteroid over there. So I see iron iron right there it might be even gold over there so and actually no that might be nickel or that just may be a nice yellow glow right there I don't think I need to get my ship that close to it so I'm just gonna go out of my ship and get to that cluster so that looks like nickel it is nickel nickel and iron right next to each other so that's interesting I GPS this to nickel and iron. And I think the other ones are the same. Let's leave the ship here for now. Uh, here's a big, the big one. I already see it right there. It's the same thing. If the big one, if this is the same cluster of all these asteroids, it should be the same. And that's going to be unfortunate for me because it's not silver. So let's see what we got here. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not detecting anything. These are really nice little spots though, because I'm seeing a lot of um, iron on the small ones. So we can always drill out a small asteroid. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything on that one. I already see right there iron. Um, they should be all the same. Iron and nickel. Yeah, here's nickel, right? So it's all the same here. Here's more nickel. That's a ton of nickel. Yeah, not silver. So not something we need. So that sucks. <laughs> so this one here, we're just going to have to jump to the next one. Okay, we can't find any. Um, do we need nickel and iron right now? If we do, we can grab some. Uh, probably, yeah, we probably not from this direction. Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't seem to be very safe. That looks a little easier to grab. But let's let's see if we need iron, anyways. If we need iron, then yeah, let's go grab some for now. If we don't need the iron, 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 iron. I think we are out of iron. Yeah, we have a chunk of them here, but we don't have too much. All right, if, if we want to be on the safe side, we can we can go grab some. Where did I see that cluster that was easy to get? Great, I just lost my orientation. Um, <laughs> we said we're not gonna grab from that one because it's a little too dangerous. Well, you know what? I could just use my camera. Let's see. I think it was that one right here or that one. Could be this one. Mm, yeah, I think I see it right there. A uh, little speck of it. <laughs> so we're just going to fly there. Unless it was over here, but I don't know. <laughs> it's alright. Let's get some iron. Um, really not good with the power. I'm not, not a fan of this 55 minutes left uh, my batteries are just not gaining enough uh yeah yeah our current input we have more input than output huh i don't know we'll just leave it <laughs> once everything turns red then we know we're out of power we'll just figure it from that figure it out from there all right we're just gonna drill a little bit of iron not too too much um, again, we don't want to fill up our cargo container, which we're, we're fairly close to filling up because we have tons and tons of stuff here. Yeah, we have ice and everything like that. Platinum, all these things that needs to be refined, which is slowly refining. 
Although the base of refining is refining cobalt and nickel, that's fine. These, this one's refining the platinum and gold, which is good. So I think we should have more thruster components now, right? We have 116 only. Still only that little. So that's not good. Or did we shut? Wait, hold on. What happened here? No, no, we're slowly getting them too. Okay. It's a very slow process, unfortunately. Okay, so here's iron. We can grab some. And we can easily grab it. And I wish the sun was here, not over there. So we get more power. <laughs> I hope. I really hope I don't run out of power to the point where I'm going to be floating around in space for quite some time. I should put on, maybe, <laughs> I should put on, uh, what's it call it? A parachute hatch. Just in case I float somewhere and end up going to a planet by mistake or a moon. Alright, the power that we're running out of soon is, is, is getting a little tricky. All right, so we should be good going this way. I like, I love the camera. Panning is not available still in default, no mods, so we might have to add a mod to do that. Because it's, it's, it's a little bit easier to be able to pan a camera than having a static one. And I'm pretty far from this iron asteroid, am I? Yeah. All right, I'm going to gather how much I want to gather. Um, we can get close to a hundred liters of it, or hundred thousand liters. How far am I from this thing? Look, that was, I'm pretty far away from it. I could have just not extend the piston and go for it. It would be easier. That's fine. Iron is always a necessi necessity, so I'm okay with gathering a little bit more of it. But like I said, I don't want to fill too much. I want to fill up to 400. I kind of want to do that. Kind of. Kind of don't because I know it's going to be too much. But then we're going to have some more space in the drill, so we should be okay. So it's, it's going to be a while to get that much anyway, so we can kind of slowly get more. Okay, I think we should be okay. Car close to it, and that's about 100 and so... Um, 100 or so thousand of uh, iron, so we should be okay. Okay, we need sun. We need to get to the sun to charge up a little bit, and then we'll navigate to the next um, rock or asteroid. We just need to get a little bit of sun here. Here we go. Yeah, so it, it's getting bad. <laughs> it's getting really bad. Uh, do we should we slap on another hydrogen engine? Probably. So I'm not I'm not really one for numbers. So I haven't really looked into like everything. In terms of how much output we're doing. Um, so it's, that's not a lot of output, I think, right? Five megawatts, is it? Not not that big. Uh, so, now solar panels is doing 82. I think that's kilowatts, so it's not a lot. All right, so since we have the sun here, let's, let's modify. We need to modify. <laughs> Unfortunately, we do have to do that. Um, Alright, so let's just fix this up. So, ideally, this should be on top. So it's easier to orientate ourselves here. So we can do one here. We can do... One there, and we could do one here. There we go. And if anything, I think we can add one more, and it's still gonna look fine. Yeah, we'll do that. So it, it, it kills the shape a little bit, but we need to do this. We definitely need to do this. Okay, so same thing on this side. One here. And let me just vault this one up first. Or not. I was hoping <laughs> that it will get rid of the components that I have in hand. But I guess not. Okay. We will do that one. This one. 
will be there. This one there. And all right. We can put two more. One here and one here. Done. Now we can weld it up and get to go. So we're gonna get rid of these guys. That's on the bottom blocking. I mean, we could leave them there just in case so we don't have to constantly turn around. But what's the point? We can always have it on one side, which is the upward side for now. And just have it collect the sun that way. All right, so we are done with our solar panels. And <laughs> it's lacking the nice looking shape now. It's just a big old solar panel kind of satellite at this point. Um, which is fine. We get we have no choice, really. We, we do just need to soak up as much sun as possible at this point. So I'm just going to orient it to get sun for now. Um, and then we can plot our, our next rock to go to. So I think the closest one, let me get out of here. Say, let's see, the closest one is that one, which we've been to. And there's that one, that one, and that one to go to, and that one, right? Is there one behind us? There's a fairly large one over there, but I think the cluster that we want to go to is... What's the closest one? There's still a lot of rocks. Um, jeez, I think I lost the... Everything seems close, but they're not really that close, so that's the problem. So we can go to that one, but that one seems far. That rock looks crazy. There was a bunch of rocks behind us before, unless it was these guys here. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate. I don't remember exactly which way it went. But I think it came from that side to this one. And we were supposed to look at other ones that was close by, which is... I think... Yeah, probably would have been one of those guys, but it's fine. We, we kind of want to follow the sun at this point. So the sun is right there. So as long as we follow that orientation of the sun, we should be okay. So let's go to that one or this one, whichever is closer. And let's see. That one or this one. We're going to aim for this one. Let's go aim right here. Whichever one pops first, we'll, we'll just hop onto that one instead. All right, so the power situation is really dicey. <laughs> Not a big fan. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Not much we can do about it right now. I mean, we're still getting sun, which is good. Uh, we're never going to have fully charged batteries for the most part. One, because we keep moving around. And two, because our refinery is sucking up a lot of power. <laughs> right there. <laughs> so that's the problem. Um, I hope we get silver soon. I am. I really don't know what to do about this power situation. I need to find a way to throw in a reactor. <laughs> Once I have the reactor... We're going to be pretty good in terms of power. Um, scavenging power from the sun and ice. I mean, it works. It just takes a lot. So I'm, I'm dwindling down a little bit on ice. So that's not the best. But not too bad also. All right. So we're no, right nearby. Let's stop a little bit. Really slow down. And now we just got to find... The markers. Do we see anything outside? Not really. So I see something right there, actually. Unless just just the sun or, or something bright. What is that? Is that ice? That's just <laughs> a little bit of a glitch pi pixel. Great. So that was a bit of a tricky thing. Actually, no, I can't tell, actually. Let's just fly close to it. We have four minutes of flight. Awesome. <laughs> we can just spam it a little bit to save some power, maybe. Okay, something is bright there. Is that silver? Or is that just a 
glitch pixel. What is that? That may be silver. Is it? Please tell me it is. Why won't you tell me what that is? <laughs> is that just ice? What is that? That's nothing. Right? No, that's ice. No. Yeah, that's ice. Why wasn't... I don't understand why this is not showing the ore detector. So that's... That's ice. So don't tell me this whole asteroid only has ice. That may or may not be the case. What do we see here? Nothing. Um, not good. Very not good. So I'm not seeing much right now on the surface level at least. Uh, I'm going to try to get onto the surface to see if we can detect anything. And we're not getting anything. This is not good. <laughs> uh huh. Alright, so I floated around a bit on this asteroid and I'm not detecting one thing at all. Although I do see the ice here, which is. just looks like a speck of it. I don't think there's much at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's like somebody just smeared some ice on this asteroid. Um. <laughs> okay. Fine. <laughs> I guess. Wish it was more than just a smear. Why are they going for the back? All right. Okay, so 24 minutes of power left is... Huh, this is tough. No silver. If I... If I turn off the refineries, how much power are we going to save? Fourteen hours. <laughs> well, I said fourteen hours for a second. Two hours left. So okay, we're we're okay, if as long as we turn that off. But I mean, that's the whole point of me <laughs> traveling, so we can have it run at the same time. So that's where it gets tricky. All right. So the ore detector is not detecting much right now. I ran around the asteroid a little bit just to see if I could see anything surface level and with the drill on my hand, didn't see much. So I might have to mark this one as a nothing um, for the time being. And I'm floating not too close but not too far. So we should get some kind of detection if it's deep inside the asteroid. I mean that might be the case. Sometimes they might be like deep deep inside but you never know. Like. It could have been just, just that smear of ice for whatever reasons. But flying a big ship like this is probably not the best thing to do um, to look for ore. And especially when the power is, is kind of low. <laughs> so that's... yeah, I don't see anything. We're going to have to put more... Hydrogen thruster if, if, if necessary. So this one, I'm going to deem it as a nothing for now. Oop. And we can just jump to the next asteroid, which would be... I think that one right there. Right over here. So let's just go there. Alright, so we are nearby. Let's slow down. Use our camera, see if we see anything on the surface level. Nope, no luck here on the surface level, on this side at least. So, we just gotta maneuver to this side. So what happens if we run out of power when it says one minute? Right this moment. <laughs> oh! Oh. We... Looks like we lost a little bit of power right there. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> this is not good. We probably lost power to one of our batteries fully. So. Yeah. A full ion thruster ship. Not the best thing. <laughs> Alright, let's just park this guy here. Let's just. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to sit here for a second. Hold on, let's see. Where's the sun right up there? Okay. Let's get maximum sun output. And we'll park here. And we're gonna go and explore ourselves. So this is a bright looking asteroid, a really, really white asteroid. So let's see if anything surface level. Nope. What was this? Nothing. Uh, come on. This one's an interesting bit of an asteroid right here. You see all these little <laughs> voxels sticking out of it. It's crazy. Just floating next to it. Not seeing anything. So this is not a good thing. Um, no silver. Actually not even seeing anything on this one so we're gonna have to find yeah it's not good uh why did we just find two asteroids with nothing in them that doesn't seem right <laughs> uh yeah surface level nothing I'm trying to scan through a little bit by floating close to the surface i'm not getting anything no signs of any resources except for stone obviously but yeah this is not good yeah i don't know what to tell you uh i spent a lot of time just roaming around <laughs> trying to find the silver and it's just really no luck here all right so once again we're gonna deem this one nothing i guess I mean, most of the time I, I try to look at these other rocks, the smaller ones, to see if there's anything there to give us some kind of indication of what's around. This one must be really, really deep in, if anything. Is there an asteroid that comes with nothing? I don't know. <laughs> Should we dig a hole in here and find out? Oh iron so there we go we found something so this iron here just looks like it's pretty deep in here which is not what we're looking for so we just gotta look a little closer i guess okay so the iron's here which is you know what we don't need i don't really need to drill in here but doing it for fun is there an outer way here somewhere to control one hole to another hole? Wait, all right, so this is... So, wait, what is surface level? Oh, God. Where am I? This is not surface level. Where did I just go? I'm inside... No, no, okay. That scared me a little bit. <laughs> it was like the, the abyss over there. So, yeah, there was some iron on the surface level but not really <laughs> so i already lost it so it was here somewhere um it was just not in the not really outside outside right here here's the iron so that just looks insane it's just so dark and scary <laughs> look <laughs> yeah we we wouldn't have seen this Oh, I should have just marked it. Where is it? It's fine. We'll mark the hole right here. So it's just a a crevice. And then you can see the iron. So the lighting is really hard to see once we're inside. But it looks like it's right here. Yeah. Here's the iron. So yeah. This is troubling. But we're going to keep on trucking. <laughs> All right, so there's ice also here. Okay, so the shares ice, and it's not on the surface, but it's close, huh? So the one that's labeled nothing likely has something. Likely, it's just gotta really dig into it and see, or get really really close. So, it's kind of like sampling drilling, I guess, to kind of get close to see what's there, <laughs> I guess you could call it. Um, 
But at least we're charging our ship this way with the wings. So, alright, last, I'm gonna do one more asteroid and pretty much call it from there. And then we'll, we'll redesign the ship a little bit more. But which one should we go to? I think that they're also far away now. So, let's scan. Huh. I don't know which one is closer, but I would suspect that one, unless it's huge, or this one. <laughs> Alright, so out of these four clusters of asteroids, which one's which one's gonna have the silver? <laughs> Make your comments down below. <laughs> I'm a suspecting the one right here might have the silver. Just out of a random guess. But we're gonna go with whichever one comes first. So let's see. That actually looks like an ice asteroid, but who knows? All right, looking at it from afar, it just looks terrible looking. <laughs> I don't see any markings on that. This one just looks as terrible because we're not close enough. <laughs> and yeah, um, is this that one actually looks like ice. The one I said was going to be silver. Or that's just some randomly smooth. Ooh, I see something there, but it looks like maybe gold. Uh, so that, that might not be it. Alright, so we're going to go to these three clusters, I think. One, two, three. So let's just make sure we don't lose our orientation here. So I'm trying to orient it so I can see directly into the next two that I'm going to pop into really quickly. And that's just orientation right here. And completely, I didn't have my dampers on, so I wasn't slowing down <laughs> at all. Which is a bit scary. And once again, not seeing too much at all. So I'm going to fly a little bit above it. So we can get some ore detection going on there, if possible. And the slow go, because I think we only have two. <laughs> yeah, we only have two. Ion thrusters carrying this thing up. So yeah, I mean, we we just gotta plop on a whole bunch more of um, ion thrusters. But the more we do that, the less power we're gonna have too. So that's the biggest problem we're we're, we're doing. Um, hydrogen thrusting we should do. Ooh, we just went dark. <laughs> we're slowly going dark. Okay, we will just have to plop down right around here for now. Not seeing on the oh, okay, so this is a large asteroid we're gonna explore, so that's not gonna be fun. The sun is above us, all right, so this is fine. We will plop ourselves down here. Do we go by foot? Well, not by foot, by jetpack. The next few, we might have to, um, because the ship needs to be charged. Oh, ow, ow, all right, I hope you stop, not drift away. Um, we turn off the lights, save power. Let's turn off the thrusters. Do we want to turn off thrusters? If we're stationary, we're good to do that. Otherwise, we might lose the ship. We need to figure out a way to reduce the use of the ion, ion thrusting. So, maybe we stick with the... With the hydrogen thrust. Will it burn this off if I have it listed? I don't, I hope not, but here we go. What we're gonna do is this I'm gonna put some piping here, like so. I'm put one here and one here. And what I'm doing is going to be. Actually, you know what? Not use this one. Let's use this one. Yeah, no, let's use this one. We'll use the regular conveyor junction pipe that way. Because that way we can throw in a whole bunch of thrusters. We do one here, one here. We do another one here. 
one in here, and I hope it doesn't burn this solar panel down. And we can do one this way as well. And we need to do more side ones. We can add, let's just do that actually. Let's just add a side one here. Um, we'll just do it this way. And I, again, I just hope it does not burn down the solar panels. I don't think it will. But you never know. Do we need another one in the front to slow it down? Probably. Or not. We'll leave it for now. And see how much it's going to cost to kind of weld all this up anyways. Alright, we are back. And it took a bit of time to get the resources refined. But I decided to go with a different route once again. <laughs> so once I was waiting for these hydrogen thrusters to get the resources, which they were here before, uh, I decided why not utilize the wing a bit more. So I decided to put the hydrogen thrusters right here in the wing. So we have it fairly close to the ship itself and expands out a little bit here using some piping as you see here and it's connected to the large cargo container so just make it equal sizing of it i could put two here instead of one the thruster can stick out one more but that could be for a different expansion of the ship but right now i think we're gonna have a little bit more thrusting power which is great so we don't utilize too much um, energy and power and it's the same on both sides. So you have a nice little wing action there. A little bit of a different system here. I realize the front doesn't look as great anymore. So we need to kind of round that out eventually as well. So we'll figure something out. Um, probably get rid of the drill system eventually too. But so far so good. This wing system got a little bit of a point at the back. Which um, surprised I was just trying it out. And actually looked act pretty good. So what this is, is basically uh, one of those half um, slope blocks and then the other kind of like a bigger half slope. I don't even know what they're called to be honest. And it's kind of did that on there. So basically if it's hard to tell, we use this guy here, which is that half slope kind of block. And then we use the bigger half slope to large, um, to large block right here. And we did it in two different directions. So one this way. And then against it was this the opposite way, like so. And then of course we went back to the tip block or the half slope and placed it here and made that little wing action thing here. So that gave it a little bit more design. Um, it did reduce the number of solar panels that we really wanted, but um, but it looks better. <laughs> I think that matters at this point. Um, before all those solar panels, not the best looking thing in the world, but it was helping to gather as much power as possible it's just not the best looking thing in the world uh, we could add more if we really want to but it's not gonna look great so we can even add one like right over here if we really wanted to which is terrible looking <laughs> or we can add some more throughout the front here like so or i don't know like sideways or something but then the thrusters are in the way so there's some places we could put them, but I think you know, I think we had a large number of them. I think about six of them got reduced to pretty much two on each side, which is not great. But hey, uh, I'd rather have the aesthetics at this moment than the looks because we can always gather the sun as easy as possible. And right now we have hydrogen thrusting, so that's going to help us push our ship further without burning too much energy so right now we have all our ion thrusters off and we should be able to maneuver a little bit even without it on so if we were to go to that asteroid over there let's just say for an example not that one but this one well not that one um i was thinking about that which one's closer this one looks closer. Let's go to this one. Uh, okay. Yeah. 
So we're gonna go to this one right there. And I think with the hydrogen thrust, it's enough to push us. Not a lot, as you see there. It's just quite slow still. But if we were to add on the ion thrust, we have 7 minutes of power, but that goes a lot faster. What's awesome about it is the colors, too. <laughs> so there you go. So that is hydrogen and ion thrusting at its kind of finest right now. <laughs> it's pretty quick. It's not too bad. But we could rely on just the hydrogen right this moment. It's slow, but it's going to help us get to where we need to go without burning too much um, energy. While while we do this, we can collect the sun as much as possible so I can just orient orientate to the sun like so. And we're going to fly there. So I like the ships looking the back. The front, not so much. So we're going to have to figure that out. It's a little squared off and boxy. And then when it gets to the back, it just looks much, much better. So we're just going to have to figure out how we're going to fix that. And... Did I miss that asteroid? Did I not name that asteroid? Or did I... Can't remember what I was doing beforehand. It took quite some time to get all the materials. I think I was going to search that asteroid and I completely forgot to do that. Oh, um, oh well, what are you going to do? So, let's do a quick outer scan. And I'm not seeing much. So that's not good. And I think it's going to be this elusive silver that we're never going to get. Um, <laughs> it is what it is for now, I guess. But let's just explore this asteroid, this rock, really quickly. And then hope we could just hope it's silver. But if not, we're just going to have to keep asteroid jumping. Or hopping. So the slowing of it is not too bad. Using the hydrogen thrust. Which is awesome. It looks like... I'm not seeing any materials just yet and we are slowing down quite significantly which is good but we also keep in mind have roughly four more minutes left on this thing um keeping everything on so let's turn off the ion thrust uh, i hope we're in the sun's direction we are so let's just soak up some sun for the time being and we'll take a look outside to see what's there so it looks like on the outer surface i didn't see anything i'm um, getting close to it nothing's being detected so i might have to drill through the ho a hole in a bit to kind of test to see but we got to take the outer look first and hope for the best here i'm not seeing much there's a little bit of a dark area here which sometimes could be uranium or just stone just stone at this point and unfortunately I see nothing so that sucks I hate it when I can't see if there's resources on the surface level <laughs> so much easier when you can but it is what it is at this point and that's a weird drilled out kind of spacing <laughs> so that is just all stone 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 um, a whole asteroid here. I'm not even seeing a speck of a thing on this side of it. Can we move this guy forward a little bit to find out? Yeah, I guess we can try. So let's just try to push it with the hydrogen thrusting. And try to get close, but not destroy our ship close. That's a dark spot. There's a lot of dark spots here, which is interesting. Alright, so we're getting there. We're getting to the point where it's close. That's hard to see anything, to be honest. Alright, so we are close to the surface. And we're not detecting a thing. <laughs> so, ore detector... It's definitely on. Increase the range. I'm surprised I didn't have a range. Ex um, expanded at that point. But even getting so close to the surface. I'm not seeing a thing pop up. In terms of resources. So that's definitely not good. 
we want to do we want to move around a little bit more to find out uh i guess we can at the cost of hydrogen for now <laughs> would be okay if we were burning the the regular power then it would be bad um the only problem is that i didn't walk away or move away from the sun which is not what we wanted so we want to get the sun to at least continue to charge up while we look for materials and ooh, ooh, ooh. that's a little bit a little bit of a close call there here let's just lay here with the sun <laughs> chill out for a little bit um see if we can get any pickups of resources so nothing so far once again that's really really tough um, not much we can do at this point so we're just gonna kind of glide on through here get some Sun I think this is pretty much like the middle of the whole asteroid anyways so if we get as close as we can like this we don't have to touch the surface of it but we can get really really close like there and guess what we see nothing <laughs> so that's not good do we want to add antenna just for the hell of it see if that works and then it helps out a little bit um i mean from my knowledge you don't necessarily need an antenna for an ore detector but would it help to put one on i i don't know i don't see how it could really help us by putting an antenna but i mean we can do a proof of concept just for our fun. Well, it looks like we need to make a beacon first in order to <laughs> even um, make an antenna. So let's just put a beacon right here. Not right there, but let's put it somewhere on here. So I'm not sure where we can even put this guy. Uh, we have it all kind of packed up right now. Yeah, we don't really have much space for for this. That's the camera side. Hmm. Not many places to put anything. We could put it here for fun. And we are only really doing this so we can get the um, antenna. All right, here's the beacon, and if we wanted to, we can leave the beacon where it is, um, and then we just make an antenna. So not much choices for antennas. You have the long one or the dish one. <laughs> we can add the long one somewhere just for fun for now. Uh, let's get rid of the beacon, actually. Here you go. Here's the antenna. So with the antenna, yeah, like I said, <laughs> it's not going to do too much. So that was just a proof of concept. So basically the antenna, we can broadcast, broadcast it 50,000 meters or 50k or kilometers. Um, the ore detector is at 150 broadcast antenna. So it should pick up the ore or resource. Um, with or without that antenna in this case and it looks like we're not finding anything so unfortunately this is going to be a GPS nothing once again or kind of once again um, the antenna makes it look interesting I might just keep it there probably better to have it somewhere else but we're gonna leave it there for for now for fun because it, it actually doesn't look too bad <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually kind of enjoying that look a little bit. Um, not completely married to it, but not too bad. But yeah, no materials here. So we got to have to jump to the next one and keep going until we find that elusive silver. Um, but yeah, not much more to it today. I think we evolved the ship somewhat pretty well. It looks decent. It's not too bad. Got the wing. You made it useful. Uh, we're slowly losing power, but we should be okay for the most part. 
And I think in the next few episodes, we should expand the bottom piece. Um, but kind of like a double decker. I kind of want to double deck it a little bit. Where we'll maintain kind of the top shape. Well, we might... You know what? I might change this whole look first. I kind of want to change the, the head piece a little bit first. And then we'll double deck it, decker it. I'm going to try to keep and maintain the shape a little bit. Or bigger than what it looks now. So that way... Um, we can have a nice little symmetrical look for the most part. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. But I... That just it feels nicer to have it, something symmetrical, but um, we could kind of leave it as you know, one side odd, and the other side, well, one side looking different from the other, which is not terrible either. But yeah, I do want to expand the front a little bit, so then we can do a double decker type of situation here, and we have to move some things around, unfortunately. So yeah, I mean the whole point of putting. The whole idea of putting a large iron thruster, that completely ran away from us. So uh, we're going to have to keep on putting more hydrogen thrusters for the most part because we don't have that much power either. In terms of um, ice power, we still got a bits of ice here. So 105k, it's not a lot. So we're running out slowly in that case too. We had probably like 500 at one point, I believe. So we're going to have to keep up, keep soaking up some sun for the time being I'm just gonna lay low a little bit get some Sun recharge up uh, I think that's gonna be our best bet because our batteries recharge in 12 hours so that's gonna be for, for quite some time definitely need a silver need some reactors and we don't have to worry about power for a long long time because we do have uranium all right so if you did like this video this series Please, please hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.